Hello friends, welcome to my channel Finance Eco India. HCL just dropped its Q1 financial year 26 results. Revenue beat expectations, but profit fell almost 10%. And the stock barely budget. Wonder why? We break it down with deal insights, margin trends, and what it means for you. Smash subscribe if you want live market breakdowns. Now let's check if HCL result beat the estimate or not. HCL Tech posted 30,349 crore in Q1 financial year 26 revenue, up 8% year on year, just aging past the 30,292 crore consensus estimate. Net profit came in at 3,843 crore, down approximately 10% year on year, missing the rupees 4,224 crore estimates, reflecting margin pressures. Interim dividend of rupees 12 per share was declared, reinforcing HCL's shareholder friendly approach. So, what does this mean? A revenue beat, but profit miss signals pressure from investment and softer utilizations. The dividend demonstrates management confidence despite earning dip. So, HCL takes Q1 revenue jump 8.16% year on year. To rupees 30,349 crore, slightly surpassing the consensus. This growth was led by strong performance in Europe and rest of the world markets, highlighting recovery in these geographies. However, the growth wasn't across the board. Four of its seven industry segments actually saw decline, including manufacturing, life science, healthcare, and public services. In essence, Global diversification had the top line beat expectations, but core segments were under pressure, signaling that growth remains uneven and demand recovery is still patchy. So, talking about the HCL's net profit, its net profit fell nearly by 10% from the previous year. Why it dropped? There are many reasons. One is the seasonal softness and utilization dip. The June quarter typically brings lower utilization level, reducing efficiency, higher investment. So HCL increases spending on Gen AI and go-to-market initiative, impacting mar margins. So these are the new technologies. So there are uh, initial investment which HCL has to do, which led to the margin pressure. Pricing pressure and affects headwinds. Currency volatility and competitive pricing further skews margin. So management narrowed financial year 26 constant currency revenue growth to 3 to 5 percent from 2 to 5 percent and set EVITA margin guidance at 17 to 80 percent down from the previous year 18 to 90 percent range. While revenue showed resilience, profit construction reflect a strategic choice. Investing in future, future growth during a seasonally weak quarter, margin stability in execution will be the key catalyst to watch moving forward. Now let's talk about the HCL deal wins. So HCL Tech secured around $1.81 billion in new deal wins during Q1 financial year 26, down from the $3 billion in Q4, but still solid in a typical week quarter. What behind the slowdown? It reflects the extended decision cycle across silent client sectors, especially amid micro uncertainty and tariff concerns, pushing some large deals out to later quarters. Looking ahead, analysts forecast another dollar 2.5 to 3 billion in booking this quarter. Similarly, concern on cost optimization contract and hesitant discretionary spends. While HCL Q1 booking dipped sequentially, the pipeline remained healthy. The focus now shifts to how quickly new deal convert and whether the demand environment start to stabilize after this seasonal dip. Geographically, HCL Tech reported a mixed performance in Q1 financial year 26. Europe and rest of the world showed a strong growth momentum benefiting from diversified demand and stability outside the U.S. 
The U.S. market remains soft under pressure from tariff uncertainty and cautious corporate IT budgets. Asia continued to show weakness with slow deal wins and delayed client decision. Why vertical performance varied sharply. Leading sectors PFSI and high tech delivered solid results due to sustained digital transformation in cloud projects. But manufacturing and retail lacked reflecting slower client capex and reduced discretionary IT spends. Strategically, HCL is doubling down on Gen I, digital engineering and ENRD services, aiming to pivot client toward high growth value added offerings. This shift reflects a clear intent to offset volatility in trading sector and align with future tech trends. Now let's talk about what analysts are saying. Guidance is narrowed to 3 to 5 percent growth, margin to 17 to 18 percent. Stock closed flat, margin digests the rebound in revenue, but cautious on margins. Here's the big picture HCL Tech reported a revenue beat but tempered investor expectations by narrowing financial year 26 growth guidance to 3 to 5 percent with projected margin of 17 to 18 percent down from earlier levels. The stock reaction was muted, closing flat, reflecting market cautious. Investors are still weighing the positive in revenue against the conservative margin outlook. So solid top line execution is now balanced by prudent guidance. Analysts expect steady deal flow and Gen AI driven services but margins will be the key to watch. Now let's talk about the risk and the headwinds. So tariff turmoil in the US is delaying client IT projects as companies push back discretionary spend until trade clarity returns. This slowdown is particularly pronounced in H2 CY analysis of global supply chain. At the same time, key industry verticals like manufacturing and Healthcare have reported soft revenue growth, reflecting cautious corporate budget and subdued demand. And it's not just the top line. Margin pressure are persisting, triggered by typical seasonal utilization dip in Q1. Increased investment in GNI and currency advents from the depreciating rupee and contracting US dollar. In summary, HCL takes Q1 performance show external macro factors, tariff, disrupting deemed timelines, weak industrial spending, dragging growth and margin pressure from strategic investment and underutilization. The key question now, will Q2 show a rebound as this headwind said is? So let's discuss now what are the good signs which HCL is showing. So there are also some good factors. So HCL Tech's Q1 setup is showing some clear upside potential. Strong Gen I acceleration. HCL is working on 200 plus Gen I POCs with many already scaling to production, signaling climb to AI driven digital transformation projects. Budget recovery in BFSI and high tech. This core vertical led the charge with recovery momentum and renewed discretionary spend fueling growth in the quarter. Stabilizing margins. While Q1 saw typical softness, management accept, expects margin to firm up in H2, especially as session pressure, seasonal pressure fits and Gen AI investment start yielding returns. So the bottom line is that HCL pivot to high value Gen AI and a steady recovery in key sector provides a strong counterbalance to summer quarter drag, setting the stage for a stronger H2. Now friends, let's discuss about what should be our strategy, investment strategy. For long term investor, with current 3 to 5 percent guidance and continued digital push, the next 12 months could offer steady returns, especially if margin holds above 17 percent. For short term investor, post earning volatility offers entry around 1600 to 1620 
with upside to 1700 if guidance is reaffirmed. To wrap up, SCL Tech beats revenue, but margin squeezes and cautious guidance limit the upside. Watch for Q2 commentary on Gen I and deal flow. This could be a turning point. Are you bullish, neutral or waiting on the sidelines? Please drop your comment below. And if it this helped, please subscribe for my channel and for more videos like this. Thank you. Jai Hind.